We're going to use a complementary color strategy to create a simple color design. A complementary color strategy involves the use of two hues that are opposite one another on the color wheel, and you also want to use variations in value and saturation of those two hues. So we're going to use the additive subtractive color wheel, and we're going to select two opposite hues, and then we're going to create tints, shades, and tones charts of those two opposite hues so that we can have variations in value and saturation of the colors that we use in our design. So to select two colors that are complementary, the easiest way to think about this is to basically draw a line that divides the, divides the color wheel in half. So for example, um, magenta and green are complementary colors, and so those could be two colors you could use. Red and cyan are complementary colors, and those could be two hues that you use. And blue and yellow are complementary colors, and those could be two hues that you use. So you need to select a complementary color pair. I'm going to go ahead and go with magenta and green as my complementary color pair. So I've drawn a straight line across the color wheel to find the complementary colors. Of course, you don't have to use the primaries or the secondaries. You can also use intermediate colors, so long as you're drawing a straight line through the color wheel to find the opposite pair of colors, that is a complementary color strategy. So going back to my magenta and green, I'm going to select the magenta color here and slide it into the first squares that I have on the right hand side. Now I've already set up these tints, shades, and tones charts. I'm going to show you how to do this in a moment, but first I want to load in my starting colors. So I'm putting my uh, one color at the top and then the opposite hue in the charts at the bottom. Now to set up the charts, what I've done is I've drawn a square shape using the rectangle tool and holding down shift or command on the Mac to constrain the proportions of that rectangle to make it a square. Of course, you know, you don't have to be this precise. This is more just for your own reference really when you're designing, so really you can choose any shape you want to to do this. And then what I've done is I've gone ahead and used the blend tool. So you'll need to set up object, blend, blend options, and choose specified steps. And I just decided to go ahead and make five specified steps because that's enough uh, distinctions for me. And so I've drawn my one square on the left here, and then I've put another square over on the right over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the blend tool, which is right next to the eyedropper tool click on the first square and then click on the second square and what it will do for me is it will just mix those colors together. So this is a great way to use charts that you can then use for, for referencing colors. Now I want tints, shades, and tones. So the top is going to be tints, the second one is going to be shades, so I need my ending color to be black. So I'm grabbing the white arrow tool to select this uh, square at the end and then I'm going to change the fill color to a black and then I need tone, so I'm going to choose a gray, and you can choose any shade of gray you want to. If you want to vary the value, you can. And basically what this is doing for me is it's creating a variations in value and saturation of my chosen opposite hues for my complementary color strategy. So it's going to make my design more rich and I'll show you that in a second. So now what we're going to do is slide on over here because I've already created a really simple design out of rectangles and I'm going to show you how I would apply these colors to create a complementary design. So the first thing you can need to do before you can really use these colors is to expand your blend so that you can actually access all of the colors that you have created in these blends. So you'll need to select all of your charts. You can just grab the black arrow tool and click and drag to select all the charts and then just go to object expand and go ahead and, and leave all those checked and, and hit OK. And what that does for you is it opens things up so that now if you grab the white arrow tool you can not only move these pieces around but you can also select the colors from them easily using that white arrow tool. So now what this does is this is giving me um, essentially a color palette to work with to use to design. So now I can take these colors and I can apply them to my design and figure out how I want to incorporate tints, shades, and tones of my two uh, opposite hues to create a complementary color design. Now the thing about complementary uh, colors is that they are highly contrasting. They uh, actually are the most contrasting of the of color 
pairs that you can create. And so there's going to be a lot of uh, contrast in your design and you want to figure out how much contrast you want to create, how you want to balance the contrast with uh, with unifying elements to make everything work together harmoniously and it's really a matter of uh, like figuring out how what you want to be the focal point of the design what what area do you want your uh, audience to pay the most attention to and that's going to be the area where you want to create the highest degree of contrast so if I really want to create um, uh, if I really want to make this middle part really attention grabbing, uh, I'm going to create a lot of contrast there by using hues that are perhaps more saturated, perhaps also um, uh, more contrasting. So that would be an instance in which I would place my um, opposite hues um, next to each other to really kind of uh, cause them to interact with one another. And of course you'll also want to play around with the stroke settings. It's possible that maybe you want to eliminate the stroke entirely so you can set the stroke which is basically the outline to uh, none so that your colors interact more. And just play around with the design to um, basically consciously think about areas in the design where you want to create a focal point by creating more contrast and areas in the design where you don't want um, a focal point and you just want kind of more of a background color to um, to sort of harmonize the whole thing and make it more unified. So these are all things to think about when you're designing with color and especially with complementary color schemes.